there's now the school program called No Place for Hate. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up real quick. But No Place for Hate is just a wonderful program that's kind of like the Welcoming Schools Initiative. And they didn't want to hear about that because it's all mostly all about gays and stuff like that. But it was very diverse. I mean, it talked about any kind of facet that was out there. But um, No Place for Hate is something that needs to be said. It needs, needs to be talked. You know, we don't shouldn't have hate going on in schools and things of that nature uh, because this is a place for learning. You know, um, and kids are the ones that have to suffer because all this crap that uh, other people are doing as far as like DeSantis and telling them they can't study. You don't say gay in the classroom. Now more people have passed that. Did you know that there have been 100, 100 new laws trying to introduce that are anti-LGBT, and it's only January? That's how vile, or, uh, that's how dangerous our community and our, our society is becoming. But anyway, let's uh, let's focus on the No Place for Hate, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it, and if you want to get it involved in our schools, in your schools, wherever you are, and also, we need to get it done here, because, you know, we got a lot of people up here that, you know, there's a lot of violence that goes on in schools still. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people expelled for uh, violence and stuff. We can probably curb that by teaching this from K to 12. And it's a great program. It doesn't focus just on gays. It focuses on on gay, on uh, hate, period. we uh, we got to fight extremism. We've got to fight hate. We've got to fight anti-Semitism. Because we don't, we're just going to keep making these mistakes. And we're going to keep running into the same problems that we're doing over and over and over again. Anyway, here's the movement right here. Join the movement. It's uh, whether you're a student or an educator or a family member, you have a role to play in combating bias and bullying as means to a stop to the escalation. Now, remember, this one thing is if you're a member of, if you are a victim of a hate crime, there's two things you need to do. One, call the police. Two, call the Anti-Defamation League, uh, the ADL. Call them. They'll come out there and start the process of working out the, the details. They'll find out what took place, how it took place, get it classified, get all the work that they have to do to make sure that this does not go unchecked or ignored or swept under the rug. That's what they do. Now, let's just go to this page right here. It's called ADL.org. All you got to do is type in um, the words, no place for hate, anti-defamation league. Uh, and that, that right there will tell you everything that you need to know as far as getting this program started in your schools, because it is important to get these kind of things started. We start at a young age, which I wish, wish parents would do the same, but that's where most of the hate's coming from, from home. But it's designed to work for your school. And uh, here's more about that. It's completely customizable, too. I like that. Because it goes about what your demographics are, what your uh, student ratio is, everything else. And they follow, uh, they find ways to work with those barriers that are already known to, um, known to the database of what these kids say or what – issues they have with certain ones or what have you. But it's a student-led school uh, climate improvement program that fits your school's unique culture and needs. And, uh, you know, I think we need more programs like this out there. The fact that it's not in all schools already says a lot. Um, well, you got to put the students in the driver's seat to build a movement towards positive change. It gives them a little bit more action to do it. And they can uh, find, uh, they've got a four-phase approach. Let's look at those four phases real quick. Uh, one is form a committee. Two is to sign the pledge, unify your school community around shared goals. Third is assess your school climate. Uncover new insights while ensuring every voice is heard. Talk to people. Listen to them. What are they dealing with? What are they going through? All these types of things and implement activities. That's the stage four. Inspire students and staff to become more effective allies by working together through a school wide discussion based on active learning activities. Your students and staff will examine identi identities, reflect on biased behavior, and learn new ways to challenge bias and bullying themselves other than society. We always want for, uh, uh, somebody outside to come in and do something. Well, this right here puts the power into your kids' hands. Gives them a little bit more control over it because this way they feel like they're actually doing something, not just being lectured to, but actually being part of the solution. And you get enough kids that do this, it becomes a success. So make sure that you check it out. Again, that's uh, No Place for Hate in your schools. Uh, you can Google that and find out more information about that today. But, um, you know, we're going to disconnect from society. Or ever since 2016. Um, there's also a glossary of um, code words that you can find. Just call, type it in, call glossary of anti-Semitic uh, code words. 
Uh, like I showed y'all earlier, the this right here is uh, if I can get it up there. Yeah, this right here is white power. Um, you got all kinds of things that you will see and be shocked. That's what I mean. Well, I'm still blown away by diversity as code for white genocide. I think that's just the biggest crap I've ever heard in my life. We're not trying to kill them by being uh, by being diverse and being all accepting. Um, but like I said, don't fall into the normative. They want you to be normal. They want you what they consider normal. And that's the unwoke people. So make sure that you fight every, every step of the way and stand up for people. Stand up for every person out there. Not just yourselves, but other folks out there that are different from you. Because that's the way we really make a diverse community.